Hello everyone, uh, what I have for you today is uh, a very special guest, uh, Mr. Rajkiran Rai, CEO of NAFID. And uh, why it is special is that it is the newest but also the strongest in terms of the focus that is our uh, main agenda today. How do we increase green investment in the country? And none other than uh, Mr. Rai himself to tell you uh, what NAFID is uh, has tasked itself going forward. Actually, NAFID uh, is the first DFI uh, exclusively for uh, infrastructure financing. We have two roles, financing role and a developmental role. Actually, uh, on the financing side, actually, we want to be the nucleus around which actually the whole of infrastructure financing, the innovativeness needed in the structuring of the infra financing, we uh, want to do that. On the development side, actually ESG is one area which we are closely working with actually. So here actually uh, one of the areas we are working on which is close to our heart is the urban infra. Yes. So I am here today because of that actually because municipalities and urban local bodies are important uh, part of this system uh, yes. for taking it forward. So uh, when it comes to, you also heard a lot of things in the room, it was a select uh, group about, uh, you know, actually going forward on green municipal issuances, while there are some, uh, uh, you know, general structural uh, challenges, uh, do you see green is actually the next wave that um, municipal, municipalities should uh, tap, but also generally, where do you see that NAFIT can help the more of the green pipelines to come to the market? I feel that uh, most of the things which urban local bodies do are yes. green. Mm -hmm. Whether it is drinking water, whether it's sewage treatment, urban mobilities, healthcare, they all you know fall under the green. What they miss is proper accounting standards mm -hmm. uh, to classify them as green. Mm -hmm. Maybe the certifications needed, maybe actually defining those projects separately and uh, you know, uh, segregating those investments separately. I think these are the things which are needed. But what ultimately the purpose for which they are spending the money is more green. Mm -hmm. Only thing is we lack that structure of defin defining that as Define green that. and presenting it to the investors. Okay. So uh, now that you mentioned, so you know, and Climate Bonds uh, and uh, NAFIT have been talking very closely on this aspect of defining, defining it in a standardized manner and also the importance, I think, of certification for the market to grow itself. So if you could just highlight a couple of things from your point of view, how, why certification from your point of view is important, green, green bond, Certified green bond is important, yeah. yes. It is more to do with the investor confidence. Actually, you know, the proceeds go to the right purposes and, you know, that is segregated well and managed well. It is more to do with the governance. Yeah. Actually, when I promise an investor that uh, this is a green bond, I am going to use it for this particular purpose, certify because a certificate from a, a credible outside agency becomes important and particularly for international investors yes. when we enter this space becomes very important because there's a term you know what we call greenwashing like yes. you know we need to be very careful because we are in the beginning of this phase yes. maintaining high level of credibility becomes very important because we are in the first phase of issuing green bonds yes. so giving that confidence to investor becomes all the more important the certifications yes. and a, a credible agency certifying that yes. these are being used for the right purposes becomes all the more important for this country because way forward for us is huge because we have to be net zero by 2070 yes. and you know 500 gigawatts in the next seven eight years of renewable so these are big things it's all possible but then how to attract this investment how to give that credibility to the investors is by through certification Thanks a lot and today you also talked about credit enhancement. I just wanted to make it you know, known to our viewers what role will NAFIT play in credit enhancement because that is a, 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 actually a, quite a gaping gap if I could say in getting more issuers to the market. Actually, credit enhancement as a product is already available. Yes. Actually, uh, it is as old as uh, 2015 yeah. when the first guidelines from Reserve Bank came. Actually, this has not taken off for various yes. reasons, there are regulatory issues. Actually, one of the mandates for NAFID, mm -hmm. there are many mandates for yeah. NAFID as a DFI, is developing a bond market and deepening the bond market. Yes. So when we are looking at this, actually we bumped across this product saying that this will help us. Exactly. Basically, why 
many of the interest projects are not hitting bond market remaining in the bank loan book yeah. is actually they are not able to get, able to get that double a rating yes. because which has become a benchmark for any kind of bond issuance yes. so then uh, i think uh, we uh, this is a area where there is lot of scope yes. so that more bond issuances can happen so we looked at that product and uh, our mandate is to deepen the bond market so we are looking at credit enhancement as a product to bring more and more projects uh to that level where insurance and pension funds can come in and take that stake this is a beautiful product but then yes there are certain uh, cost factors mm-hmm. uh because of the regulatory prescriptions because mm-hmm. of the international experiences mm-hmm. and domestic experiences regulators are a bit cautious on these products yes. so we need to give that confidence that we have a very prudent practice of issuing it and all that yes. it's very important that we give that confidence to the regulator mm-hmm. so that they give some leeway on that so that the cost of this product comes down then it will be much easier for yes. people to issue yes. we are ready to issue the product but yes. then thing is the regulatory prescriptions around that may not fit particularly the municipal bonds at this point yes yes and not only municipal i mean it is i think it is required in so many yeah, uh, yeah to so many other issues all, all right? corporates need it yes uh, yeah, particularly exactly. uh, the moment they complete a project when they become brownfield yes uh, hardly they get a year rating absolutely and uh, you know if they have to issue a bond actually it is difficult at that level so that's why credit enhancement becomes very important but then there are certain governance issues around this and uh, certain uh, you know accounting practices to be followed very prudent practices uh, required to uh, credit enhancement because credit enhancement is a product which will run through the life of a bond yes it is not that i give it for one year exactly. and get out of it basically for the investor confidence to be there if it is bond for 10 years it is a 10 year product yeah. so we need to look from that angle and cost is very important aspect So Mr Rai you are in the hot seat you are now fit uh for the journey that India has undertaken and is you know going forward with the national infrastructure pipeline is just one of those starting points we have read a lot of your uh you know announcements and we now uh first of all congratulations you, you. have set up the team it's becoming operational and uh, NIP itself how much of a green portfolio it can actually bring to the market would be fantastic and uh, thank you so much capacity building in all of this process is important uh, you saw it was a small group but we also are planning to go not only with municipal uh, issuers but also with different categories of issuers to actually build the capacity whether that's of banks or corporates or municipal entities or states so thank you so much for thank giving you. us the support thank and collaborating with thank us thank you all thank the very you. best thank you so you're doing a great job thank, thank you, you. Thank you.